Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a few different types of pipettes. For the transfer pipette, this is the pipette type that is simply used to uh, suck large amounts of samples from one place and put them into another place. When you're using this, you're, you don't care about the actual volume that you get from one place to the other. You're just trying to get as much of the sample as possible or to sort of fill up uh, a sample cup um, to some certain level, but again, you're not going to have a precision amount of liquid doing this. All right, these pipettes are going to be, again, those plastic ones um, that are one-time use, and all you do is you squeeze a little bulb, you put it into the sample, you slowly release your squeeze, and then you pull it out of the sample, and then you take it to wherever you're going to try to um, put the liquid, so whatever uh, sample container you're putting the liquid into, Put the, the tip of the pipette in and slowly squeeze all the liquid out and then pull it out. You don't want to put the pipette tip into your original sample and then squeeze because what you're going to end up doing is putting a lot of air and bubbles and sort of turbulence into the sample and depending on what you're trying to um, transfer, what uh, liquid you're trying to transfer, that can be a bad thing, especially if you have like a blood sample that has been spun down so it separates and you're just going to remix your sample doing that. The precision pipettes all have adjustable settings to them, at least the ones I'm showing you here today. Um, so if you go to the knob at the top where you're going to use to sort of suck up the sample, that knob is able to twist one way or the other. All right, so if you twist it to the right, you should see the values get larger on the little uh, screen on the pipette. And if you twist it to the left, you're going to see the numbers get smaller. So that screen is going to show you how much volume that pipette's going to suck up when you go to suck up a sample. Then um, what you're going to do, so once you adjust to the volume you want, you take the pipette, um, you push it down into a um, pipette tip that's appropriate for the size of that pipette. So you're going to notice there are, there are different size tips. We're going to use yellow ones which are smaller and blue ones which are larger in this video. So then take your pipette, you're going to notice there are sort of two different clicking points for the, the, the button on top where you're going to use to suck up the solution. When you push the button down, the first click, that is the click you're going to use when you're trying to suck up. So you're going to push down to the first click, put it into the sample, and then let go of the button um, slowly and it's going to suck up the solution. When you take that uh, pipette out of the, the original solution and you put it into your new sample container, All right, so essentially what you're doing is you're putting a little air behind the, the liquid sample to make sure that all the liquid sample comes out. We also have here a, um, a pipette that's going to have multiple samples being sucked up all at the same time. And this also allows for multiple samples all to be pushed out at the same time. So if you take that, it works just like the single sample devices. You push down to the first click, you suck up the solution, you put it into um, a new uh, row of sample cups and then you push down to the second click and it's going to put all those uh all those volumes into the, those new sample cups. So the good thing about these multiple sample pipettes is it allows you to do several samples um, all at the same time, so it's a time saver, but it also does it so that they're all almost perfectly identical to each other. So no matter how good you are with your pipettes, there's gonna be a little bit of variation between um, attempts at, as far as how much volume you get into the, the new sample container. So once you're done using the pipette tip, simply take it off of the device by pushing on the little eject button. So that's going to push down the um, outside of the pipette that's going to push on the pipette tip and it's going to push it right off the end into whatever sort of trash type container you're using. You can also test your pipetting skills. So if you take a precision pipette and you turn it so that it has a thousand microliters, that's equal to um, uh, approximately one gram if you're uh, pipetting deionized water. All right, so take some deionized water, turn your uh, precision pipette to 1000, and then simply um, pipette some of the solution into a, a cup, uh, some sort of sample container that's inside of a precision scale. And if it says one gram or about there, um, like you can see here on the screen, then that means that you uh, did a pretty good job and your, uh, your pipettes are well calibrated. So there's a quick overview on how to use pipettes, both the transfer pipette style and the precision pipette style. So um, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can put those in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.